With the mayor's work from home order being lifted on Monday, it may be the first time some people have driven downtown or driven their normal work route in maybe two months. Some things have changed. So first, let's talk about the Heart Bridge ramps. So we all knew this project was coming where the ramps as you exit the Heart Bridge and would make your way towards Adams Street. We knew those were going to be coming down. Well, they've made quick work of them, and it's not just an exit here that is closed. Those ramps in some sections are completely gone. So you're going to notice a big change here with those ramps. Of course, you can still exit here uh, as you make your way off of the Heart Bridge. You just can't take those long ramps that go past TIA Bank Field. Now, speaking of TIA Bank Field, if you're going to be traveling along Gator Bowl Boulevard, just look out for some lane changes and police activity because they are still doing the coronavirus testing in Lot J. So you will probably see some police activity. You'll see some tents in the parking lot. And then, of course, on the other side, you've got all of the debris and construction from the Hart Bridge ramps that have since been demolished. So just keep in mind, uh, be careful when you're traveling through that area along Gator Bowl Boulevard. The Acosta Bridge, they've been adding some lights to the Acosta Bridge. You mostly be able to see them overnight. You're not going to see any lanes of travel impacted, just something kind of cool at night that you might notice if you are traveling through. Another thing we want to watch now, this work started before all of the coronavirus uh, issues began the work at the I-95 and 295 interchange kind of up towards the airport area, but they've been doing a lot of work there ever since. So look out for crews, look out for some lane changes when you are navigating I-95 and 295 as they continue to work on that interchange. So if you are going to be traveling between Georgia and Florida, remember you still have the checkpoints along 95 southbound. Right now we don't have a timetable on when these checkpoints will be cleared, but we haven't seen any big delays because of them uh, in in quite a while other than maybe the first couple days they were rolled out. If you're just commuting between Georgia and Florida, shouldn't be a big problem for you. Essentially, you'll be routed into that way station along 95 southbound in Nassau County. Someone will ask you where you were coming from. You would tell them, of course, Georgia that you're headed to Florida for work and they'll just kind of wave you on through. They're looking for people from New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Those are the people that will get pulled aside and talk to you about coronavirus. Normal everyday commuters, this shouldn't cause any major problems for you. So just drive safe, maybe give yourself a little bit of extra time to navigate any changes that you might see out there on your roadways. But of course, I hope you have a beautiful start to your day.